um, it was difficult for me. It was very difficult for me. It was hard. Yeah. yeah. No one is there holding your hand through it. The relationship is progressing and it's becoming something more serious. You guys, you guys keep me young. Romeo. Hey guys, what's up? No. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Hey guys, what's up? Let me sit comfortably, okay, so we don't have to do this ten times. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Thank you for tuning into this video. Well, today I'm going to try and answer as many of your questions as possible. Now, I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as I can without making this video too long or without talking too much. So thank you to everybody who submitted their questions. Now I did look through them obviously as you do and some I'm not going to answer because it's just none of your business and others I will try and answer as well as I can I suppose. So the first question I'm actually going to try and tackle whilst we're at it is one I know is burning you guys. I know it's eating you alive because like every single video I put up this question always comes up so I'm gonna hit the nail on the head now so we're all clear so that we're all on one page okay let us see how you make your wigs Esther how do you make your wigs Esther can I have a wig video Esther where's this wig tutorial Esther 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 wig 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 I I'm coming okay okay let me explain this to you guys I won't say I'm a perfectionist but I find it very important that whatever I am going to deliver to you guys, I deliver it to the best of my ability. I don't want to make a video whereby it's not clear, you don't understand what I'm doing, you can't really see what I'm doing properly. I want to produce a video, I want to publish a video for all of you so that you're able to see clearly each and every step that I take to do my wigs. I say this to everybody that asks me personally. It's very easy to do. I'm self-taught, I taught myself at home. I'm still learning, I'm not a professional and I'm not perfect at what I do. But I will say the video that I want to produce, my wig making video, I am going to do it, hold on, but I'm not going to make the video if it's going to compromise quality. I probably will do it in the next few weeks. Now I say this because I do film my videos in bulk sometimes I do film them all at the same time I upload them but they don't come out until I don't know three four weeks later it really does depend I can't bring everything out at once because you guys are gonna be very overwhelmed so I do schedule my videos please 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 do you know what keep bugging me about it but I'm not gonna do it if I'm not able to produce a video that's clear and that's gonna be you know in some sense educational for you Namaste. now that that's all cleared up Let's go ahead and answer these uh, questions. So I'm just going at random here. So first question, when did you actually start doing your own hair? I only started doing my own hair like November 2013. So it wasn't last year, it was the year before, yeah. And that was because I just wanted to try wigs. I didn't really know how they worked. But I, I, in my mind, I wanted to try a particular style and I had all these bundles of hair and I couldn't be bothered to go to the hairdressers so I just bought a cap I didn't know what I was doing and I took some of my old bundles of hair and I just started sewing I stitched down the closure and I stitched all the hair down to it and I wore it out on a date <laughs> that the rest is history I haven't been doing my own hair for a long time it wasn't in good condition because I kind of just stitched everything everywhere um, I still have it but of course it was a test wig so what do I use to edit my videos and can I do a tutorial on it now, I use Final Cut Pro to edit all my videos. It's Final Cut Pro X. I bought it on the App Store, Mac App Store. I used to use iMovie, but I found that iMovie, I just felt like I my skills had like outgrown iMovie and I needed something a bit more challenging and something that allowed me to play around a little bit more with my, my video. Something that would allow me to further explore video editing. And because I've been using Final Cut Pro from university, I was already accustomed to it. I wasn't confident in using it, but I was, I knew of it and I knew what 
it could allow me to do so I always wanted to go for a Final Cut Pro so one day I just bought it for a month straight I just used it and I just kept using it and kept using it if I didn't know how to do something I'd google it and I'd find out if you guys want a tutorial then let me know below and I, I could do a tutorial on that I could just do like a basic tutorial yes I do make my own wigs and yes I will be doing a tutorial very soon let's move right along this was actually a very interesting question that I saw and tips and requirements when I'm dating because obviously I have a child how do I maintain myself being a mother do you know what I don't know because I'm single so I obviously don't have any <laughs> nothing's working for me <laughs> I don't know I'm very I don't know I'm very conscious about who I bring around him I'd say that I mean in the past I wasn't necessarily but now I am very conscious about who I bring around him because he is uh, he's very aware of people and he's very mindful of what people say and he picks up certain things and I don't want people being around him it doesn't matter who I don't want them being around him and him picking up things from random strangers because to be honest that's who they are do i tell people that i have a child at first hand i try to be as honest as possible if i feel like they need to know if, if i feel like it's necessary for them to know and when i say necessary i mean if i see that it's going it's, the relationship is progressing and it's becoming something more serious then yes of course i'm gonna let them know but on the first date that's not something that's not something i would say straight out it's only if things get serious with somebody then of course they need to realize that you come as a package and they need to realize that whatever affects you as in what whatever affects me as the person is going to affect my child so you know you it's very difficult for people to want to be with somebody who has a child but it takes a very very mature and sensible man to you know take on someone else's child or to become a father figure for someone else's child it takes a very very mature person to accept that from you no matter how beautiful or how lovely or how kind or how hardworking or how rich you are it takes a very mature person to accept somebody else's child and that's all there's nothing wrong with you don't get me wrong there's absolutely nothing wrong with you and someone out there will love you for every inch of you and your child how do i maintain myself being a mother it's taken me seven years to get used to it and i'm still getting used to it coco turns seven next month in april you know there was a time in my life where the balance was bad you know it was more me than it was him and i've gotten to the point where i'm able to admit this i can say this because i've learned i've grown and i've really been able to put things into perspective before that i think i was all over the place i wasn't really able to it was difficult for me it was very difficult for me it was hard i'm not saying i'm a selfish person but you know there is no manual to motherhood no one tells you how hard it's gonna be they only tell you it's gonna be beautiful it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be lovely you're gonna love him but no one really does tell you you know the nitty-gritty of it and how much you have to sacrifice and how much of yourself you you have to put aside for your child but I mean now I'm in a good place and how do I maintain myself I just live every day as it comes I do as much for him as I physically mentally and spiritually can and I still do as much for myself as I spiritually mentally and physically can I don't believe in letting yourself go because you have a child I think you life goes on but I don't know if that answers your question I just say live every day as it comes and don't you know don't put yourself down just do your best for yourself and for your child and everything will fall into place i don't know are you married no <laughs> not married i don't have a boyfriend i'm very single and <laughs> do i ever miss africa no not really do i no no i don't no uh no how old am I? I'm 24 years young, but whenever they ask me, I always say I'm 21, baby. I'm 24, but I always claim 21. Why? Because I want to. I turn 21 every year, so. Hey! Do I have a career in fashion? Because I saw one of your videos, you went on a runway show and your style is everything and amazing. If so, do you have any tips for anyone wanting to get in fashion? I don't have a career in fashion. 
I'll answer that. Do you know what? I'd start off by saying I went to fashion school. I didn't study design. I didn't study fashion illustration. I can't tell you how to construct a garment because I'm not a fashion designer. But I would say to get into fashion, to be honest, I'd say start off by shadowing someone, whether it's photography or it's a designer or it's, you know, some studio work. Start off by shadowing someone. It's always great to have some experience. And with that, um, you know, always put yourself around the right circles because the fashion industry, a lot of it is networking. People need to see that you're able to do what you say you can do. People need to see evidence of your work. People need to see evidence of your, not just your work, but to be honest, your lifestyle. No one is saying that you need to walk around all day with a Chanel bag, no, but people, in the fashion industry and you know workplaces they like to see that you're able to the proof needs to be in the pudding so it needs to be what you are all about put yourself around the right people network don't be afraid to to offer a hand don't be afraid to offer some help don't be afraid to be you someone said do i like the colors of my wall yes Why waste your time? Favorite nude lippies at the moment. Oh, you guys, I love nude lipsticks. Don't worry, I'll list all my favorite nude lip lippies at the bottom. And believe me, I never only use one. I always mix and match and blend and see what works and always put a bunch of them together. My favorite YouTubers. I don't want to be mean or like, I don't want to come across rude, but I can't lie to you guys. I don't really, really watch YouTube. I know it might sound very stupid from a youtuber but i don't watch youtube i don't know why i don't know i don't have a reason for it i watch videos every now and then but i mean unlike some of my other youtube friends who you know they watch it they're there every new video that comes out they watched it i'm not really like that i mean i watch it every now and then i'll go and watch i i say i watch it for research purposes you know i i'm all about supporting new youtubers that's what i'm all about i am still a new youtuber myself i'm just doing it every day as it comes like i always say but i will definitely shout out to all my girls i feel like it's very important to support one another especially in this youtube game it's really 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 difficult but i'm gonna give a shout salute to all my girls out there that's doing the hard work for you too everyone like alia lydia i'm gonna give a shout out to ooch cries and makeup crystal hey girl i love to show love and any way that i can help i'm always here to help okay i think i do have a favorite youtuber i i enjoy watching their vlogs it's jamie and nikki from australia i definitely enjoy watching their vlogs i think i've been watching their vlogs for almost two years now really really like enjoy enjoy when i say enjoy like i sit down like it's like it's love and hip-hop i'm there with my popcorn like ah yeah go nikki but i do enjoy watching their vlogs how tall am i i am five foot eight what part of Nigeria am I from? I am from, my, well my dad's from Ondo State and my mum is from Ogun State. We are Yoruba, I'm Yoruba girl, I'm a Yoruba girl. I'm a Yoruba, let me your Did I do A-levels? If so, which one did I pick? Did I go to uni? If so, which course did I pick? Great question. I did do A-levels. Um, second year of doing my A-levels, I was pregnant and I did try as much as possible to keep going to college and I wouldn't say I tried as much as possible I did every day I was in college I did I, first year of college I studied performing arts English language and literature and IT now I dropped performing arts second year because I got pregnant continued with English language and literature did I go to uni yes I went to university I went to University of the Arts London my college was London College of Fashion that was my university and I studied creative direction for fashion at the time it was a brand new course I had my son when I was 17 and I turned 18 a week after I gave birth to him. So I am a young mama. Do you wear makeup every day and how do you maintain healthy skin underneath the makeup? I don't wear makeup every day. Half of the time I have no makeup on. Anybody got time for that? I pretty much use the same thing I've been using for a long time. I wash my face with Biore, I turn with Neutrogena, I have started using Paula's Choice, the AHA gel. I'm trying to see how that goes before I do like any kind of review. I break out every now and then. Yeah, my skin's not perfect. We're getting there though. Tips on picking the right closure. Do I pr prefer a silk base closure or do I prefer a lace closure? What colour do I get? Medium or dark brown base? Do you bleach it? Do you have foundation to match your skin? And how do you make your part? So picking the right 
closure there are no tips to picking a right closure i think you should just try and pick a closure that i try and buy bundle deals on i don't know wherever you buy your hair from to so try and buy I don't know if it's three bundles and a closure, try and buy it like that rather than buying a bundle, bundle, bundle and a closure from some random place. Try and get it all from one supplier and try and um, get it all as a bundle because usually it saves you more money like that too. I prefer silk based closure but many of my closures are lace. I like silk base because I've used it before and I think it's more realistic on your matching your skin. I like both, they both work. Yes, I always put makeup on the parting that's because it blends with your face just get a little bit of your mix your concealer with a little bit of foundation and just put that on the closure and use your hand to tap it down get curling wand or your straighteners and just put that there make it flattened and that's what I do I always put makeup on my parting always 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 I don't necessarily pick a color closure it doesn't really matter to me because I'm always going to put makeup on it no I don't pluck out my closures, no, I don't have to. The reason why I don't need to pluck them out is because I get like my curling wand and I flatten it down. Once I've created the parting, I try and push the hair as, as far apart as possible and I use my wand to um, separate them even more. And if I feel like it needs some more plucking, then I go in with my tweezers and I pluck, but half the time, no, I don't pluck don't ever pluck them out. So what was my first ever modeling job? I don't remember. But I started doing modeling after I had my son. I would do small shows in London, like really small shows, really, really small shows. And I went in for like Miss, oh God, I think Miss Nigeria UK or something like that. I can't remember. My good friend at the time, she was like, do it, you know, blah, blah. So I did that. As I started working with a like a Nigerian artist, do music videos for him. I would do like photo shoots for some brands and some designers. The Nigerian artist, um, I became his stylist. I'd start styling his videos and then I styled a few more videos after that, a few more music videos after that. After I did styling, I realized that I actually really enjoyed styling and directing shoots and you know I, I didn't really enjoy being in front of the camera as a model nowadays i don't like to model i'd rather say i do collaborative work rather than modeling the day i was on my way to an agency i was handed a card from a lady and she said oh we're doing an open casting would you like to go down it's for london fashion week I'd never heard of the designer before, so I went down to his studio and it was Nasir. You know, he was like, oh, it's for Fashion Week, are you available on this day? Took my pictures, I walked up and down. From there, I did his, I did a Fashion Week show. So since then, I've been doing his Fashion Week shows. It's not something that I'm pursuing as a career. I enjoy doing it for him because I really love his brand and I really love his, his, his clothes and he's just a really lovely person. Do I have any tips for becoming a YouTuber? Be yourself. That's one tip I will say. Whatever the reason for you doing videos is, it doesn't have to be for a specific reason. I don't think you should know, okay, I wanna stick to doing juices or I wanna stick to doing hair. I think you are free to share as much of yourself or as little of yourself with your subscribers. Don't have to limit yourself. It takes a while to really find your footing in YouTube and I think I'm not even there yet. I don't think I've found exactly what it is that I love to share with you guys. I can gauge what you guys enjoy seeing, but that doesn't mean it's comfortable for me to continuously do that. There's a range of things that I would love to share with you, so that's why I'm still trying to slowly push these things out and see how you guys react to certain things. Don't overcomplicate things. Don't think to yourself, oh, you have to get the best camera, you have to get this or you have to get that. No, I started off with a tiny camera and I only got this camera very, very recently, but I made it work for myself. If I felt like I didn't like the footage, I won't put it out. If I felt like it was okay, I'd put it out. I think I always knew ways to get around having bad footage. You're good with a small ring light. You don't have to go and get yourself big old lights like I have. You don't have to do that. Get what you know you can afford and stick to what you know is good for you. I always say one thing, stay true to you. 
be true to yourself and everybody will see that that's what you're portraying and they will hopefully in turn appreciate you for that i'd say consistency is key when i first started youtube people always used to say to me keep going keep going and i was like what's this keep going business that's definitely right keep going consistency is key you have to keep at it i said to my friend beginning of the year i was like listen I'm married to my YouTube. It's a relationship and I have to I have to put as much effort into my baby as much as I can, you know, like this I can't let a slack. Don't put yourself down and don't compare yourself to anybody else. Do what is good for you because people go to different YouTubers for a specific thing. You'd find that and don't think you have to be that person that you watch. Don't try and over talk, don't try and over like analyze things don't try and be deep because it's not that deep just be yourself and people will flock to you for that i'm not very good at giving advice so i don't think i'm going to continue otherwise i'm going to start talking rubbish honestly when did i start wearing makeup oh gosh i started wearing makeup when i was in college and it started with mascara i always used to say i never wear foundation foundation is disgusting Who lies, honey? i started wearing mascara and i saw how nice it made my eyes look so i kept wearing it like every day to college and then i started using mary Kay foundation it wasn't my skin tone at all and then eventually i started drawing on my eyebrows and then i started doing like eyeliner i used to get like four different color barry m pencils and i draw like all these different colors on my eyes so i started wearing makeup i think when in 2007 2006 2006 2007 about 16 17 at the time how do you dress for your body i think high-waisted always works i might be wrong but for me it always works because i've got a very small torso and i've got a long legs you know when you have something that's high-waisted it makes your legs look longer and it makes your torso look longer too so i always go for high-waisted I'd always say be confident in your clothes, be confident in your body. I wouldn't advise somebody that's like a size 18 to go and wear a very, very small bralette that they see me wearing just because you might not be comfortable in that and there might be something else that would make you look a lot more flattering than what you've seen a size 8 girl wearing. You know, I can only really talk for myself when I say I like small, tiny, itty bitty pieces of clothing. <laughs> and i like to try colors and stuff i'm not really one to try shapes actually i wouldn't necessarily go for like culottes and stuff like that because i don't think they flatter me i think it's important to experiment it's important to try things it's important to try things that you're not necessarily used to because you may find it works for you you don't want to get to a certain age and be like oh i wish i could have worn that when i was younger i mean the time is now just do it any tips for maintaining your wigs and your natural hair underneath my sisters and i have noticed our natural hair has grown so much since we started wearing wigs and I've noticed the same thing too. To be honest, I don't do anything special to my hair underneath. I'm actually very bad at looking after my own hair. I keep my cameras in for about three to four months. It's really bad, but it works for me. Do you know what? I don't look after my wigs at all. Yeah, I'm actually really embarrassed to say I don't look after my wigs at all. I don't. But I I don't mistreat them. I don't mistreat them, but then I don't there's nothing special that I do to look after them. I hope it has answered your questions and I suppose that's the end of this video. I don't know what else to say. So I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this and thank you for submitting your questions again. Please if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So I love you guys for watching. Thank you and I'll see you very soon. Bye.